Hello everyone, welcome to my Edinburgh vlog. I'm just in the hotel room now, about to head out for our first full day in Edinburgh. We're going to the Waterstones Cafe this morning for breakfast because apparently it's got a really nice view of the castle. And then after breakfast, we're going to explore the rest of Edinburgh and I'll take you along with me. We've just finished breakfast now and we're walking through Prince's Street Gardens. We managed to get a seat near the window in Waterstones but sadly they hadn't cleaned the windows so it was a little bit um, filthy. Yes, <laughs> the view wasn't that great but I did manage to get a few video clips which you will have seen before. We're going to make our way up the Royal Mile and head towards the castle now. So as we walked up the Royal Mile, we eventually came to the castle where we'd bought our tickets online beforehand as it was a bit cheaper to book online rather than buying them at the gate themselves. I think we saved a few pounds. But as we were walking up the Royal Mile, we also saw a bagpipe player. And if you're a fan of Outlander, you will recognise the theme tune. So we actually had to wait for a few minutes just outside the castle until it was our time slot to go in. It was absolutely freezing, but at least we did manage to get some good views over Edinburgh where you can actually see Arthur's seat as well in the distance. We actually arrived just in time for the one o'clock gun to go off. I think we got actually into the castle about half 12. So we had about half an hour to kill. So we decided to try and get warm and headed into the cafe to get a hot chocolate, which was so nice and just gave us a chance to warm up before heading back out into the freezing cold again. Once we'd finished our hot chocolates, we headed back outside to watch the gun go off. The gun goes off every day except Sundays at one o'clock and it was so loud, I don't know what I was expecting, um, but I'll leave a little clip in now so you can see. Once we'd watched the gun go off, we then explored the rest of the castle and also came across St. Margaret's Chapel, which is the oldest surviving building in, building in Edinburgh, apparently. And we also saw this little cemetery for dogs, which was really sad. But I also thought it was sweet that they get to be remembered as well. Once we'd finished looking around the castle, we then headed to this place called the Venel Viewpoint, which is about five minutes away from the castle and you have to walk up all of these steps to get to it. But the view is definitely worth it. It's a lovely little street with views right up onto the castle itself, which luckily for us, it was a nice sunny day. So the castle was all lit up in the sun, which was lovely. At this point, we were so hungry. So we headed for some lunch at this little bistro called Scran and we had both had a wrap and some fries, which was delicious. Then it was time to head to, in my opinion, one of the prettiest streets in Edinburgh, which is Victoria Street, where there's loads of coloured buildings and loads of little quirky shops that you can go and have a look in. The Harry Potter shop is also on this street. At the bottom of Victoria Street, there was this shop called The Knight's Vault. Me and my boyfriend love looking in here. It is sort of a nerdy kind of shop where they sell all different replicas from loads of different franchises, including Aragorn, Sword, Andril, which you can see my boyfriend holding here. There was also loads of other different things as well, including this Prancing Pony sign and this map of Middle Earth. There was quite a lot of Game of Thrones stuff as well, including this um, Hand of the King pin, which I thought was quite cool. After we'd finished looking at everything on Victoria Street, we then headed to Coburn Street, which you may recognise if you are a fan of the Avengers, as there is a scene where Vision and Wanda are walking along the street, which is quite a cool fun fact. Again, this street was just really pretty. It had loads of nice, cute little shops, including this home shop, which was called Mysa. 
At the top of Coburn Street, we also walked past the Milkman, which I've seen quite a lot about on social media. So we decided to have a little stop in here for a coffee and a slice of cake, which was delicious. Once we'd finished our coffee, we then continued to have a little look around Old Town and came across Greyfriars Bobby, which if you stroke its nose, apparently is good luck. We then headed into another really cute shop called Armchair Books, which again, I've seen quite a lot of stuff about online. It is a secondhand bookstore where they sell loads and loads of different books. We've just got back to the hotel room now and we're just going to have a little bit of a break and freshen up before we go to dinner tonight. And then later on tonight, we have a reservation at the Cocktail Geeks, which is like a nerdy cocktail bar and the theme at the minute, I think it changes themes every four months. And the theme at the minute is Lord of the Rings, which was very lucky timing for us because we are big Lord of the Rings fans. So yeah, I thought before I'd get ready and we head out to dinner, I could show you what I bought today. We went into a few different shops. One of them was like a little home shop on Coburn Street and the other one was the Knight's Vault on Victoria Street so I thought I could show you what I got from there now. From the little home shop that we went in on Coburn Street we got these prints. I don't want to unroll them yet because we need to uh, get them back safely but one of them has like caterpillars and butterflies on and this other one, other one has like wildflowers on so we're thinking of maybe either putting them in the living room in like some nice gold frames or maybe putting them in the spare bedroom where my gaming setup is. We also got another print from um, the Knight's Vault, which is the map of Middle Earth. And then because my boyfriend and my dad are looking after our little dog while we're away, we got them some, I'm gone trying to do this one handed. Oh, I can't really see it, but we got them some um, Edinburgh Castle gin and Edinburgh Castle whiskey to try. This morning, after we'd finished breakfast at Waterstones, we picked up a couple of books. The first one that we got was this cloth bound classic to add to my collection because I've got quite a few of these now I think I've got about 16 in total so that's another one that I'll put in the bookcase that's on my desk if you've seen that in my other videos this is a book that my boyfriend picked up um to put in his office it's this atlas of tolkien book by david day he's got another one of these which is the dictionary of tolkien so they'll probably look nice together on a shelf and then the last book that i picked up was the latest sally rooney book beautiful world where are you i've nearly finished normal people now so i'm going to start this one when i finish that and then I'll eventually read conversations with friends as well and then I'm going to do a little book review and maybe put that on my channel if anyone is interested in that. So that is everything that we bought today. My boyfriend also wanted to buy King Theoden's Sword from the Knight's Vault and I managed to persuade him not to buy it for now but I can guarantee that we end it ends up coming home with us so I'll update on that if he does buy it. I'm going to get ready for dinner now and I'll catch up with you again later and I'll show you around Cocktail Geeks. So here is the outside of the Cocktail Geeks cocktail bar. We had booked our table a couple of weeks in advance, which I would recommend doing as when we were there, we saw quite a few people coming in and asking for a table and they did get turned away because they hadn't booked. So definitely book if you want to go. The demon in there was really good. As you can see, She Lob was working hard behind the bar and we also had Gollum watching over us as well whilst we were trying to enjoy our drinks, which was a unique experience. As you can see, the theming inside was really good. There was loads of Lord of the Rings references, including the menus where the drinks were named after either characters or events that happen either in the movies or in the books. At the back of the menus, there were some riddles as well from Gollum where you have to answer the riddle in order to order that drink. The cocktail that my boyfriend ordered was called In the House of Tom Bombadil and it came in this boot-shaped glass and mine was called the Gardens of Lorien. It's quite fruity and came with like little flowers and berries on the top, which was really pretty. Once we finished the cocktails, we then decided to give the Hobbit life a try and tried some mulled cider, which was absolutely delicious and was the perfect drink to have before heading back to the hotel in the cold. So we are back home now from a lovely time in Edinburgh. If you've made it this far into the video, then thank you so much. And it would really mean a lot to me if you could subscribe if you haven't done so already. For those of you who may be wondering, yes, we did end up coming home with a sword. It's not actually mine, it is my boyfriend's. And the one that he picked was King Theoden's sword from The Lord of the Rings. So he's planning on putting that up on the wall in his office. It did actually come with a wall mat as well, which is good. So planning to get that up on the wall ASAP. So that is going to go ahead and end this video. Video. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you've enjoyed it and I'll see you in the next one.